Uh, thank you all. Uh, it's great to see a lot of A enthusiasts joining the call. It's uh, very excited to talk about the samples that we have recently uh, built for our developer friends and uh, uh, share with the community as well. Uh, what you have here is a bunch of A samples that I'm going to present just as a way of introduction. I'm a product manager within uh, teams and co-pilot engineering teams. So I, I kind of work with customers and partners to help build A integrations, co-pilot integrations, uh, and the co-pilot agents that we recently announced. So I'll be the go-to person who's working with customers and partners to build all of these. And as part of my day-to-day -day job, I, I wanted to make this a bit easier for me and also for my developer friends. And that's how we came up with these samples. What you see in this slide is basically a bunch of different uh, scenario patterns that we identified as something that our customers uh, repeatedly were asking for, things that that they found interesting to do with AI, and uh, they were trying to build this on their on a, on their own. And we thought, why why can't why can't we you know just uh, give this a little bit of nudge and have some open source samples built and then uh, published in a GitHub, so that our customers, partners, developers can pick these samples up, uh, you know, customize it as per your liking and then use it for your own systems or you know take it for your for your own customers if you're a partner right that's the idea of these samples uh, as you can see we have our own like uh uh, six samples that we have uh, recently open sourced and uh, the focus of today's call is going to be the export finder with sso with an authentic authentication that we have built in uh just before going into the sample the export finder in detail just wanted to uh, highlight a, a couple of things these are, like I said, open source samples. They're not designed to be full-fledged end-to-end solutions on its own. These are more like you know solutions that you can stay, uh, start as a building block. You can have as a starter template, uh, and then you can build, extend it, and then add your own you know uh, specific use cases, your own specific rules, business logic to it, so that it becomes like unique to your organization, your business needs, and so on. That's the idea of these samples. So uh, whenever you have a scenario do check if any of these samples that we have introduced come close to that. And if so, there is a really good starting point that you can start with, and then you can probably like extend it to suit your unique needs. That's the idea of these. And uh, we would definitely want you to, you know, uh, innovate with these and then share with us, like, you know, if you have any feedback, any any additional things that you think should be part of our sample gallery, you know, like please do keep those comments coming, keep, uh, keep those feedback coming. We are happy to include more and more samples and more and more patterns as you find them along. With that, getting into the export finder with SSO, as the name implies, this is basically a sample. Uh, this is basically a solution where uh, using Copilot, you can ask a question, you can ask Copilot a query on, hey, I, I want to look up information on, say, cloud computing in my organization. Who is an expert on this, right? Or I have an upcoming project coming up. And uh, my project needs, uh, you know, uh, people who are expert in .NET or C Sharp or probably like Node.js, and they should also know React, right? Like, can you provide me people or uh, list me people who are currently available and upskilled on this, on these technologies, right? So these are common kind of like a pattern that you see across different customers who kind of like have a lot of project needs, unique needs, where they are building a new team to work on a particular project, or they are building even a hackathon, right? Right. We actually, we are actually have a hackathon week right now going on in Microsoft. So all of us are always looking for different folks who are expert in different areas. And Copilot being Copilot, it it is able to come up with these you know uh, uh, these names of people who are in our organization based on whatever is available. If there is a if there is information available in your email, in your chat, or in your uh, you know in your SharePoint, then it can probably be, bring these up. But what if this information is available in a separate database? Your organization or your customer's organization has this the you know database of people along with their skill set, along with their years of experience and some other you know uh, metadata which can help you make a really good search on the database and bring up uh, relevant people relevant information based on the kind of skills that you're looking for but then it's behind an sql query not all of our end users might uh, be familiar with sql or be comfortable with sql so this solution 
is kind of like the bridging game between the need that we have and and the uh, drawback of not knowing SQL or not knowing or not being comfortable working with the database directly. They can now chat with Copilot in natural language directly, just you know, hey, just expressing what they need in natural language, and Copilot will take care of picking up the relevant pieces of the prompt and then converting it into a set of parameters. In this case, the parameters would be the skill set and. It can even take the location, the requirements or availability requirements in terms of whether they are available or staffed on a project and use all of this to construct a query, which then runs on the database and brings back the results for the for the end user. That's the idea of the sample. Uh, we'll quickly jump into a demo of it and then I'll come back to the slide to discuss what else can be done with this, right? Here is a video of uh, how we uh, how this sample can be used in real world. So as always, like this is something that you can start with Teams because we have this chat interface in Teams. Uh, you have this Copilot interface where you can have a back and forth conversation in Teams, and that's what we will start with. We are just adding the app as a message extension. This is a message extension based plugin that we have built, which also serves as a Copilot extension, and now. It would be a stepping stone for the recently announced Copilot agent as well. So in this case, once we have added the export finder, we turn it on, and then we start speaking with it, uh, speaking with the Copilot. Uh, sorry about the small form, but I think uh, this uh, pretty uh, slow, and I, I hope like you'll be able to follow this. I'll see if there is a, there is a way to zoom in, in PowerPoint. So probably like I'll use that. So essentially, the export finder sample uh, is is currently added as an app, and you are able to uh, chat with Copilot, asking who are the candidates who are based in India and have Azure as a skill area that they are expert on. Right? This is a common ask that that come in very uh, a, a lot of professional services firm take EY, uh, you know, take EY, KPMG, all of this professional services firm frequently look for candidates to kind of like fulfill their uh, resourcing needs. And this is something that you will see uh, being asked left, right and center on different emails, chat forums and so on. And people scramble to find a relevant person who can be staffed on a project immediately. Whereas here they ask Copilot and here is what happens, right? Copilot in turn calls the message extension plugin that we built, and it is able to call an Azure table on the backend, which has a list of all the employees and stores the, the, the respective skill set, and it is able to get the uh, information from them. But before all of that, we said a word called SSO, right? So that's an, another unique thing that we brought in the sample. Uh, this sample is SSO authenticated. What this means is when you start a conversation, if you haven't been authenticated so far, it will show you a sign in button like this and you can click on the sign in button, right? You click on the sign in button and it opens up a dialog box. Since this is SSO, you do not have to enter your uh, you know, credentials again. It will take this from your team sign in itself, but you just need to look up, you know, it, it, it'll just show you the kind of information that it will need for it to function and you can just give a consent and forget about it, and this will sign in automatically, right? This is very similar to the SSO that you are familiar in Teams bot, uh, in, in Teams message extensions that kind of like translates over here too. Now, once you are signed in, this button goes away and you are able to continue the conversation with the Copilot plugin as you, as you, uh, as you are previously used to. In this case, uh, we are also working on ways where you can make the sign in even more easier, where at the toggle stage itself, we'll be helping you sign in without having to do a separate button click here. That's something that we are exploring and will be coming up soon. So once signed in, the app has this token, app has everything that it needs to know about you, your query. Now it actually runs the SQL query in the backend Azure table and brings up the relevant candidates as you can see over here. I'll take a quick pause and zoom in a little bit. We have asked the question, find candidates who are based in India and have Azure as a skill. Now, out of this natural language sentence, Copilot kind of acts as a filter, which converts this natural language sentence into a bunch of parameters. In this case, the parameters would be uh, based in India. So the location is equal to India. Skill is equal to Azure. These are the these are going to be the two parameters that Copilot will extract from this. And using these two words or keywords, it will form an SQL query and run it against the Azure table. So 
The result of the table is shown over here. John Doe and Alex Wilbur seem to be the two candidates who match the search. And uh, uh, this is a debug information that we have turned on. So you can see the plugin has actually been called. It has re returned a response and we are able to even hover over and see that add to card that comes up. This message extension, like I mentioned, uh, works separately as a uh, message extension in a chat as well. You, you, you need not really need to use it in a uh, in Copilot. You can use it even outside. You can search for the specific skill set and get the relevant candidates and even send it across in a chat whenever someone asks for, hey, uh, do we have any any uh, resources who are available who have this XYZ skill set? You can even uh, use it as a message extension outside Copilot too. Now, in addition to this, uh, Copilot uh, being uh, being a very uh, capable uh, document reader, document processing uh, engine as well. What you can do is after you can get this, uh, after you get the list of candidates or list of uh, employees who are skilled in a particular uh, area, you can even upload a Word document asking Copilot, hey, can you look up uh, this project uh, that is contained in this Word document? extract the skills that are needed for this project from the Word document, and then use that skill to search in my plugin and get the relevant candidates. So you are kind of like not, you're kind of like relying on Copilot's uh, innate language skills to first read a Word document, extract the skills from the Word document, and then using the plugin to search the, search the uh, Azure table and bring the results back as well. So doing this in a workflow like fashion where you had to do a resourcing need for multiple different projects it really really ends up saving a lot of time that's a unique advantage of using this using this method uh, again there is another example over here where we are asking uh, you know expert finder to find candidates who have sql as a skill and we are also passing another parameter who are available who are currently not staffed on a project right so this is another example of a multi-parameter query that we are sending to copilot and copilot is able to intelligently recognize recognize oh we are asking for xyz people who are available and not really staffed and also skilled in sql lag sql and, and is able to search the database based on that quickly jumping into the code of how this functions uh, it'll be good for us to start with how Copilot is able to understand the uh, natural language query and is able to process that, right? So in the manifest.json that we have created for this particular query, this is available in our GitHub. So you can take a look at this uh, uh, after the call as well. Uh, but here is where I would start. The manifest.json that you see here, where we have explained to the Copilot, hey, a query, this particular plugin, is meant to help you help the users with finding candidate profiles who match a certain criteria such as skills, location, availability. So use this plugin whenever users are looking for people or candidates or profiles uh, based on skill, based on location or availability. I should be the plugin that you are supposed to call. So this description that you see at this level, the command description kind of helps the copilot to determine Oh, whenever I get a question related to uh, XYZ person, I need XYZ person with skill set or I need this person in this location, you know, those kind of questions I should call expert finder plugin. So this line is what instructs Copilot with that information. Once it chooses this particular plugin uh, based on the query, it then further uses these parameters to deconstruct the sentence, the prompt that we have written into a bunch of parameters. So in this case, we have defined parameters could be, there could be a skill parameter, there could be a location parameter, and there could be an availability parameter, right? We have just described what we mean as skills. Skills are possessed, uh, skills are those things that uh, that we that are that are had by candidates based on which their profiles can be searched. And we are even giving certain example values for skills. Could be .NET skill, Azure, Node.js. Uh, so programming skills or hard skills is what we have defined over here. You can extend it to you know explain it in even more words using more words. It could be soft skills. It could be any other list of skills that Copilot can uh, Copilot can classify. As skill category. Now, once you have this defined, 
whenever we write in natural language anything that resembles that resembles a skill copilot will be able to extract that particular skill keyword whether you type it you know communication skills or uh, managerial leadership skills so all of that would be extracted as a keyword and sent to you using which you can search people whose profile match the particular skill criteria we also define location and availability in the same way we describe location as a country or a region's name you can define it to be to have a state's name or even to, to uh, identify pin codes uh, copilot will be able to respect that uh, availability in this case we have it as a binary value just yes or no if they are available or not sometimes people might want to look up people who are staffed on a project who are free on a project so because of this we have a binary value over here now, once we extract these parameters, this is where all the magic happens. Search app.js. This is where we get all of these parameters uh, and store it in a separate variable, uh, sorry, in a, in a separate constant. And then we use this to actually search the Azure table. So in this case, once we get all these parameters, skills, country, availability, and not all of this need to be filled. Certain queries can just have skill availability and uh, you know location could be null and certain queries can have country and others could be null that's fine so whichever value is not null whichever value has something in it that will be used to search fetch candidates and uh, here is the search logic that we have used where we are searching the azure table and whenever a particular uh, uh, particular logic satisfies a particular skill set then that particular candidate is mapped and we are fetching the candidate over here. So if you see the logic over here, this is where the candidate is being fetched and we are getting the candidates based on their skill or location and we are sending them back to Copilot. Now, the way that we are sending them back to Copilot is once we get the candidates, we are wrapping them in the form of an adaptive card. In this case, we found the adaptive card to be pretty simple. The photo, the profile of a person, the name of the person, what project they are assigned to and so on basic details about the person uh, in sort of fact set skills location availability and wrap that information in the form of an adaptive card and send it back to copilot so that copilot displays the adaptive card back to the user this is what happens in this particular sample one unique way that you can expand this is if you have in the manifest of json you can actually describe this parameter as a comma separated value or an array of objects so it does not need to hold one skill. It can hold multiple different skills as comma separated values. And your database can do a multi-skill search in one go. It doesn't have to match with just one skill. It can do multiple skill search in one go. You can also uh, uh, you can also do an additional uh, additional set of parameters related to say their business unit, whether they have a work permit to work in certain locations. All these other parameters you can add as part of this uh, as part of this command. You have a total of five parameters that you can add over here, but the unique thing over here is you don't have to have each parameter as a separate uh, separate uh, part like this. You can actually describe a parameter as a composite value. You can describe a parameter as filter by parameters. And within that, you can have an object key value pair, which describe multiple different parameters in one go. So if you do it that way, whenever you have more than five parameters, I would advise you to look at combining all of them into one particular parameter over here as a bunch of key value pairs and then describe that key value pair as a parameter over here so that with one parameter that you get from copilot you can deconstruct it into say four or five different parameters that way you can you can form a really complex query and uh, work with your tables coming back to our demo the one uh, one other thing that i wanted to highlight here is uh, in addition to what you just saw you can add additional parameters you can also add automated notification alerts whenever someone gets out of a project whenever a candidate's availability has changed recently so all of this is something that you can add as a automated notification and you can even add you know uh, successful placements uh, from past uh, projects to predict best candidates and copilot can actually use that as one of the uh, one of its uh, signals to recommend candidates for future projects as well so this is something that you can absolutely pick up and choose and uh, you know customize to your unique needs completely up to how you'd want to build and develop mm -hmm.